that. Just execute us and be done with it, Dominus. something you can defend yourself with. Good. This place is crawling with criminals. There's smoke rising just east of here. Could be worth checking if there's... So it's true. Dead men walk in Rayclast.
Exile is a lesson, and I've always been a fast study. not be joining you today, dead man.
Welcome to our home away from home, for what it's worth. I'm Nessa. That putrid giant you just laid to rest, that was Hillock. You're lucky. He's eaten stronger exiles than you. Don't count on that luck lasting. It's in short supply here in Rayclast. Still, you've rid us of a curse and we owe you our thanks. Lion Eye's watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here, while you live. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for. And there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. Judging by those eyes of yours, I'd best count you a friend. I wouldn't last long as a foe. <laughs> the name's Bestel, captain of the good ship Berry Gull. Swift and pretty she was. Nothing like the High Templar's rubbish scow that brought you here. Unless the Merry Gull is gone. My crew is gone. But my wits remain after a fashion. <laughs> There's an island, a hop skip and a wade offshore of the terraces. That's where my merry girl ran aground. Watch the locals spit roast the ship's doctor, but his medicine chest might still be there, amongst the splinters and bones. It'd have everything Nessa might need. Dr. Shaky Hands Opton was lousy with a scalpel and even worse with a saw, but he knew his apothecary. Explains the shaky hands, if you ask me. Poor Nessa! Not even a mother herself, and yet she cares for us all. And what a sickly, pathetic brood we are. May she live to have her own family. A real family. If anyone deserves that, Nessa does. Harold, the merry girl's cook, washed up on the rocks over yonder. Dead as a doornail he was. Buried him myself. Then, a few days later, I see him on the beach. A little worse for wear, but upright, shuffling about. Land full of disturbing surprises, this ray classed. Fine work with Hillock. Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, forget I asked. We exiles have no history. Dominus took it from us when he had his blackguards dump us in the water out there. Here, got something for you. Should help you kill a few more of those undead bastards. Uh, don't bother thanking me. The way I figure it, the longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. Founded by Marseus Lionai as a supply station for his campaigns against the Karui. In its day, Lionai's watch could be defended by just a small garrison of well-armed legionnaires. What have I got? A handful of starving criminals with driftwood clubs and rusted hatchets. The Eternal Empire has some right nasty leftovers. Whether it's something in the air or in the water, no one stays dead in Rayclast. Not the first time. It can take a little while, but sooner or later corpses wake up and go looking for breakfast. That hat Bestel wears? Saw him pluck it from the real captain's head right before the cannibals barbecued the poor bastard. Waste not, want not, I suppose. Yes, Bestel's got a gift for telling tales, but I'd never call him a liar. 
The truth's always in there. You just have to listen for it. Nessa's the one keeps the rest of us from losing our minds. To be honest, when she first arrived, I didn't think she'd survive more than a day, two at most. She's been proving me wrong every dawn since. Heard a bard once sing that the fairest flowers bloom in the foulest places. It's bloody well right. I've seen many an exile pass through Lion Eye's watch, and many more that simply pass on. Those letters are my way of keeping track, of remembering. Oriath might want to forget us all, but I'll be damned if I will. Is it choice that carries you here, or is it fate? I see a need in you. A need to peer into your future. A need to follow the right path. But your future has already been cast. So open your mind and embrace it. Long ago, my people called me a Hatungo, a wise woman. Now they call me a Revenant. But it is not my fate to return to the Mother of Death just yet. For now, I stand with one foot in this world and the other foot in the realm of the dead. I'm an inquirer of the living and an interpreter of death. I sense you have questions. For a gift of silver, I will answer them. But you seek more than answers. Riches. Power. These I can also provide, in a way. All you have to do is join me. Heed my words, but walk your path. The future is mine to tell but yours to claim. It is time to fulfill your prophecy. I traveled here through death's darkened halls, walking the paths of the remembered. I am but a memory of the woman I was, a memory treasured and sustained by the mother of death. I awoke in the halls of death, with the life I once led, little more than a dream half remembered. Yama the White, my furry companion, stood before me with the seeing stone he holds now. Both were given a hair of Hinekora's dark knowledge, but each serves a separate purpose. The seeing stone drags me deep into its core, where every instant into eternity is known all at once, like limitless rings on a tree trunk. Yama, like a torch in the mist, guides me back from the stone's infinite visions. Hinekora, my mother of death, is not the only god, Exile. The Karui are watched over by many. Namahu lends us fire, which illuminates the path. Tafua gives us the trees and birds that line the path so that we may enjoy beauty and peace. Tukohama provides us with weapons and knowledge of war, which lets us walk the path safely. And in the final days of this world, Kitava, whose hunger knows no bounds, will take it all away.